Hello and welcome to my first YouTube video. Today we are playing The Wild Darkness. I find this game really interesting. It is very challenging indeed. It has been released this January of 2020. And I must say, it deserves a good rating. So let's get started. So as you can see, I've been playing before. My account is saved into the store, cloud storage. So now I'm starting a new adventure just for you new guys out there who wish to play this game. But find it very hard. Because believe me, it is very, not that hard, but based on what you do, it gives you an outcome. So it's a one life, one run. If you die, you have to restart. So yeah, that, that's it. So let's start a new game. So here we have our adventure. If you unlock um, runes of light one, you can get warrior. You have to survive 30 days. To be to be truthful, 30 days is not really easy to come by at at first. Um, when you f further down progress in the game, you can get totems. Totems give you um, skills and abilities that you can use to help survive even longer. So let's get started. So passive skill torch done and fresh morning start game. There is a new legend. It was said that once the stars align in the formation of Sun Metal, a portal to the other world will be created. I watch the stars intently and perform. The summoning ritual once every, but it was all for nothing. My memory is now fading as I age. Perhaps this ritual will be the last. Now I shall cast the final spell for the ritual. Our Savior, please answer my prayers. Hmm? Wait. Are these traces of a ritual? Uh huh. What have I done? How did I forget? Ah, uh, such a foolish mistake. Performing two rituals in a day. This old fool. I knew I should have retired early. I should go to sleep. I'm so tired of from staying up all night. Alright, so we start off the game now. As you can see, where am I? I can't remember anything. Did I pass out? Should have look around. You can tap to move or pick items. Alright, I'm just gonna play the game and let it teach us. Every time you move or add, that will count as turn. Alright, you can get the resources using tools. Okay. Alright. Once you collect an item, it goes into the bag. So, there, this is the flint that we collected a while ago. Alright, let's go. Branch. Materials collected. Craft tool. You can get a stone axe. You can open a bag to equip. Alright, so this is your main hand and your secondary hand. Equipping it to the. So, as you can see, we equipped it. Now we can use it to fight. What I tend to do at the beginning of this game either you collect everything or you collect the necessary essentials. Like food and just the materials to make your weapon and some bush to make some torch. Alright, so collecting. You can hide from monsters here. Berry. Flint. Branch. Alright. 
So for now I'm going to collect everything. Make a knife. Knife can be used to cut bushes and axe used to be used to cut down trees. Can attack them by tapping so each square you have to tap which square you want to go if you see an see an animal or a monster in a square you can tap it to attack them like that most times rats are afraid of us so they will run away but sometimes they not all the time they drop items but I guess we're lucky right now we got meat We got this uh, um, craft book. This can be used to recover hunger. Blueprints. Blueprint for a wooden hammer. Use. Not be. Not gonna be able to use it right now. I find using the knife um, better. Also, one thing I've learned recently that you can double equip the knives. And I give her a good set of skill. So this gives more damage than one knife, plus you can throw them like daggers. So when you throw them now, you have two chances of throwing them instead of one. Um, it's getting dark. When it's getting dark, be sure to make your torches. Because dark monsters come out in the night and they are very strong in the darkness. You having the torch or a source of light will weaken them and make it easier for you to kill them. Alright. I'm going to cut down everything. That's over here is a dirt pile. Can I get to it until I'm um, get a shovel. It's night time now, as you can see up at the top left corner. This is a daylight scale. So the yellow air represent daylight, the orange evening, and the the dark blue night, and the light blue early morning or dawn. All right. So let's see if any monsters will spawn. And use skills. So this is a dagger skill. You can throw throw the knife as daggers at them. So there we have two dark monsters on over here. We have the ominous 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 shadow. Ominous, yeah. And here we have another dark spirit, I believe. Alright, so um, you can select who you want to attack. I'm going to attack the dark spirit. I'm going to do attack again. Alright. One thing you don't really have, don't walk up to a monster because they will get the first hit. What you do, you can press this timer down here in the bottom right corner. This timer, um, let you skip the time. The, the time doesn't move unless you move, so that's a really good advantage too, so you can plan your strategies and so forth. So let me attack. Alright, that's double, double the, the attack power of what one knife could have done. Alright, so that's the rune of light. This is a thing that helps us to, like, it makes us get better. Yeah, so while fixing the runes of light, you can better craft better items that are unlocked, that are locked. So when you get the runes of light, you can unlock them. And that way you can craft them better. So it needs to be repaired. This is soldier statue. Sacred power can be felt. You may insert something. Alright, continuing. There's a dark shadow down there. So convenient having these daggers. We don't have to go up too close to them.
cutting down everything. All right, so it's done. We don't need the torch. The torch automatically um comes off at dawn. But you can turn it on back if you wish by clicking the torch icon up here, or you can take it off. But at the moment, I do not really need no source of light. Ooh, more more items. The more items, the better. We have a small storage space, so we have to make the best of it. You don't really want you can put down or after fixing the room of light you can get what is called a storage box something like this or a basket camouflage mask this mask concentration increase energy recovery energy recovery increase all right it has really low durability but i'm wearing it all right looking like an aboriginal <laughs> Alright, collecting everything, branches, bush and branch to make torch, let's see what this stone writing says, runes of light has been destroyed and its light tablet has disappeared, so what we're in search for right now, to move on further in the game, we're looking for the light tablet, let's attack this right, well, there's a leopard cat down here. Didn't drop anything this time. Alright, my HP is high enough so I can attack him. Alright, they, they do not really come to attack in the daytime, but at night or evenings they will attack you. Like there's a high possibility, like a 50% possibility they will attack you during the night as well. But for the sake of getting materials and stuff, what I did here was click the map icon in the bottom left corner. After I've explored the whole area, it can give me a full view of what this area is. Also, we have the sneak, the sneak icon to the side. Using during alert mode, your movement speed decreases, so it slows you down observing your surroundings. So, like this, you can zoom in and zoom out. If I keep it zoomed in a bit like this. Sneaking like this will give you a chance to creep up on the monsters. And you can attack them like a surprise attack. All right. And it's night. Get your torch. See how big he is. Now he shrinks when I turn the torch on. All right. The insufficient energy that just means that the special skills for the weapons or any magic power that you have takes EP. The EP is like mana, so the mana decreases each time you use a skill or magic power. Alright. Down here is a suspicious dungeon, that is where we will go and find the light tablet. Alright. So we'll end of the video here. Thanks for watching guys and I do hope you guys find this game really interesting. I will see you in the next video.